Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and in this video what I wanted to do is give you a quick look at the new texture slider in Lightroom 8.3 and the corresponding versions of Lightroom Desktop and Lightroom Mobile. So texture is a new slider in the presence section of uh, the develop module and it kind of works in a similar way to clarity, except it's designed to enhance uh, medium details, whereas clarity kind of gives a, no, a more overall look. So by dragging the slider up, you increase texture and dragging it down, uh, you decrease or soften textures. So let me give you a quick example and let me just kind of demonstrate the difference between texture and clarity. So I'm starting off with this image here of some cherry blossoms and let me just drag the texture right up and show you what happens. So as you can see, it's adding detail into the, the cherry blossoms themselves and as well as the bricks in the background. So if I drag this back down or put this back to zero, so there we are at zero. Um, and if we want to compare this to clarity, you can see clarity is giving an overall look and it's kind of, it's burning out the sky and it's it's making it not very nice. Um, whereas texture is kind of just focused on the smaller details in the image. Now you can obviously drag this too high as well. So if I bring this all the way up to 100, you can see it's overdoing the effect. Um, you can, however, you can also paint it in. So it's available on all of the selective adjustments. So let me just bring up the brush here and I'll just do a very quick brush over this. And then we can increase the texture here as well. Now, as well as increasing it, you can also decrease it, decrease it and this creates a softening effect. Um, they recommend that you can use this for skin softening. Uh, I don't have any portrait images, so I can't really demonstrate that. Um, so it's kind of suited to architectural images and landscape images and things with a lot of fine detail in it that you want to bring up where uh, clarity might not normally do it. Um, so let me use this image as an example. And let me also show you one of the other new features is that they have enhanced the automatic function. So if I just click on auto here, so this should give us a good starting point. And yep, that's pretty good. At the old version, I found it used to lower the contrast too much, whereas this new version, the contrast seems to be better um, to what I would normally do um, if I was processing the image from scratch. So again, auto is generally just kind of a starting point and it's it's improved, but obviously that's subjective. Anyway, back to texture. Um, so here in this example, let me just drag this up again and you can see it's adding a lot more detail to the foreground leaves and stuff, um, as well as the church back here. So again, if I set this back to zero and then do clarity and you can see clarity is kind of just, giving you kind of more broader contrast areas, um, whereas texture is affecting the details finer. So in some respects, it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like structure in other uh, software, such as Capture One, um, but it's also, it's kind of more towards mid details, where structure is kind of more to very fine details, whereas this kind of gives you fine and medium details if that makes sense. I know this, it's kind of hard to explain into words, so it's, it's easier just for me to show you. Um, so as you can see, dragging that up adds a lot of more detail or inverted commas texture um, to the foreground here. Um, again, sometimes that might be too much, so you might want to go and then say maybe paint this out of the background. So I'm just gonna quickly do this and then I gotta drop the texture down. So let me just pick another image to show you. So again, there's a lot of fine detail here. Um, so let me start again with the auto. In this case, I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit. So it's it's one of those things that can be quite easily overdone, although this image can kind of handle a lot. Uh, and again, you can actually combine it with clarity, obviously, um, to create uh, quite a strong effect. So there's before and there's after. Okay, so let me just pick another image. So again, if I bring up the texture here, you can see it's just kind of affecting the concrete and everything else. Whereas if I bring up clarity, you can see it's having a more broad effect over the whole image. And again, if you're doing this properly, you'd probably combine the two. 
the one of the things I've found is that if you do it too much, it will give you kind of a HDR effect almost. So you, you do need to be careful with it. Okay, and then for something like this, it's actually good for bringing up the details in kind of things like feathers and stuff. So if I bring the texture up here, you can see it's bringing out a lot of detail. Now again, this is, it's affecting the background as well. So you probably don't want that. So again, this is another case of, um, where you would probably use it as a brush. And again, that's oh, it's been set to negative. So I'm just going to just very quickly brush over this. And again, we can bring the texture up and you can see it's adding a lot more detail to there. It's kind of like if you were to use um, sharpening with a very, with a kind of a medium to large radius. Again, that's kind of getting into the technicalities of it. Um, and again, you, you can combine it with clarity. Although in some cases this may bring you a bit too much. Okay, so one more image. And again, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna start off by doing auto. And we'll just tweak this a bit more. Let's warm this up a bit. Okay, so again, this is a case of where we can combine texture and clarity. So a texture on its own is actually, it's probably a little too much. If we combine the two, you get quite a nice effect. And again, I'd probably maybe drop it off in the background. Um, so we could say, instead of just doing it globally, we could start with a gradient. And I'm just gonna set this, I actually had this on a preset, that's why that's doing that. So what I want to do is, I'm just gonna do, drag this up. And in this case, I'm gonna increase the texture down here and the clarity. And that way it's not kind of doing any kind of weird stuff to the um, details in the background here. Okay, so there you have it. That is a very quick overview of texture. Um, it's also available in Lightroom desktop and in the mobile versions. And I assume it's going to be in uh, Camera Raw as well. So that is a very quick overview of texture. If you have found this useful, um, give this video a thumbs up, like and subscribe and uh, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.